Rapid palatal expansion, does it help OSA in children or not? Here's my answer to that. Hi, my name is Dr. Smiley. I'm a practicing dentist of 15 years, but for five years out of those 15, I've been treating breathing disorders and sleep breathing disorders in adult and children. I was told that rapid expansion is gonna treat the breathing disorder in children. And guess what? A Brazilian study by otolaryngology here I'm referencing, they did a retrospective umbrella study and they showed that five out of the seven studies cannot conclusively determine that OSA or obstructive sleep apnea was treated in children with rapid expansion. And I can tell you why. The reason is because when we were expanding the palate, we we're basically cranking open the palate, which is the roof of the mouth. It only is going to just literally stretch the mouth open but it debilitates the tongue from getting to the roof of the mouth. And what really is going to support the breathing disorder is the tongue posture at the roof. So in my humble opinion, having treated so many patients without the rapid expansion, what we need to address is the mechanics of breathing and supporting the tongue at the roof of the mouth, which is the entire body and the entire skull. And you cannot do that by just expanding the mouth in one direction forcefully. We could do that surgically, but I can tell you, I've treated a lot of people later on in life when they had rapid expansion as, an, as a child that I'm still treating them but always say when they're in their 30s and 40s and 50s. So I agree with the outcome of this, this paper. However, I know there's a better way to treat OSA in children is by properly treating their breathing disorder. And it is not just the size of their palate, it's just one other symptom of it.